my name's Karen. My story starts right here in the mountains of Virginia, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Whoops, <laughs> long story. Um, it was a long time ago when I came to Liberty Mountain right here in Virginia, down in Lynchburg, and made the decision that I was going to be a math teacher until my first semester of calculus. And my advisor suggested that maybe I shouldn't be a math teacher. So I decided that, okay, what can I do? And his suggestion was, maybe you should go into finance. So I was able to go into finance and luckily find a job with Citibank. Um, and I got hired and I climbed the corporate ladder and I made a lot of money and I got to see a lot of really great places and do a lot of really great things. And the problem was I wasn't happy. I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. I wanted to teach others. Um, a friend of mine said, you know, Lynchburg College has a program, it's called LC Teach, where if you have a degree, you can go back and get a teaching certificate, and then you'll be able to teach what it is that you have a degree in. I thought, hey, that sounds like a really good idea. Uh, the problem is, I'm 38, and I'm not sure how my husband's going to deal with me quitting a job because we have a new baby. Um, so I came home, and I applied, and thought, well, I'll never get in, and I did. <laughs> Um, so I came home and I said to Dan, um, what do you think about me quitting my job and going back to school to get a teaching certificate so I can teach? And he went, well, if God's opened the door for you to do it, then let's go through it. And I thought, well, okay, God opened the door, I got in, let's do it, we can afford it. And I quit my job and went to school. And he did a little going to school too because there weren't too many diapers. He changed before that and then he started changing a lot of diapers. Um, it was a really great experience. And we kind of cried and we kind of prayed that summer as I was in class. And we came to the conclusion that, you know what, God opened that door and God was going to continue to open the door. And sure enough, two days before graduation, I got a phone call from someone where I put in an application and they said they'd heard about me and um, they thought I might be a good match for their school. And sure enough, I went for the interview and got offered the job on the spot. I was lucky enough to teach high school for 11 years, um, going on 12, and then the opportunity came up for me to go back to school again and get my master's so that I could look at teaching at the collegiate level and maybe even doing some stay-at-home classes with my son becoming closer to high school age. And I thought, hey, that's crazy. I can't go back to school at 50. And what is my husband going to say? I came home that night and I said, Ben, um, I had this suggestion that maybe I could. And he said, you know what? Apply. If you get in, we know that God is leading us in that direction. And maybe that's just a sign. Just go ahead, fill out the paperwork and see what happens. Well, sure enough, I got accepted. And we cried and we prayed. And we cried and we prayed some more. And he said, you know, I don't think God opens doors that we shouldn't walk through. So we put our trust in our faith. And I left my job again. And I went back to school last August. And I am loving every minute. Um, I see the affirmation all the time that God is giving me that I am doing the right thing. Um, I feel so privileged to be able to work at Liberty um, while I'm going to school and I'm working in a GSA position where I can still teach and um, spend time in the classroom with students. Um, you know, Albert Einstein said, never give up on what you really want to do. Um, that the people with big dreams are way more powerful than the people with all the facts. And I really believe that wholeheartedly. I think that um, we have a lot of potential um, as graduate students to go out and change the world for Christ. Um, we can go out and affect lives, um, be it in the communications field, be it in the teaching field, or be it in some other field. Um, we have a lot of potential to go out and make changes in the world. And that's what it's about. It's about showing um, God's love through us and making a difference. I have enjoyed telling you my story. I'm looking forward to this class and learning to be able to tell my story and other stories just a little bit better. And I look forward to listening to yours. I hope you have a great evening. Take care.